So I wanted to showcase the Zephyrus G14 2023 model, and my specific specs are the 7940HS processor, and it comes with the 4060 GPU with a single stick of 16 gigs of RAM. Now, my specific model is actually an open box from Best Buy, so I didn't get the absolute best unboxing experience, but I figured let's check this out anyways. Now, out of the box, you're still getting this beautiful white color with the aluminum finish in the interior and in the lid on the outside. One of my favorite parts of the Zephyrus G14 lineup, though, is this amazing touchpad. I've had several laptops over the past two years and guys, really nothing comes close to the accuracy, the touch, the feel of this touchpad. It's by far the best. Typing on this laptop's also excellent out of the box and it's one of my favorite laptops in that department as well. The port selection is also pretty generous here with the Zephyrus G14. You have two 3.2 Gen A ports, a USB-C, and then you have a micro SD card. Now turning it to the other side, we have a USB-C, an HDMI 2.1 port, and then a headphone jack and then a port where you actually have to charge your laptop. Now the Cinebench score right out of the box after I did some updates, it actually came out a little bit lower than I've seen other YouTubers mark this at. I got about 1700. I've actually seen this go as high as 1800. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. This was of course done with a single stick of RAM and right out of the box. And maybe I just needed to kind of configure this a little bit more, but, but ultimately that's kind of where I ended. And even gaming with a single stick of RAM though, overall guys was very impressive as I started to do a little bit of gaming. I started started off playing a little Baldur's Gate 3 on full ultra settings. Right out of the box, I was getting around 60 FPS. Sometimes it'd dip a little bit lower, sometimes it'd go a little higher, but that's kind of what I was averaging. And I have to say that was really impressive, but it isn't too bad considering, again, the small form factor, and this is a 4060, and we're on a single stick of RAM. And this is now when I started to take notice of the screen. This comes in with a 2560 by 1600 with 165 hertz and 500 nits of brightness. Now, this isn't the best laptop screen you're gonna find, but I found it personally more than adequate. Actually, I really loved it. The brightness and colors were gorgeous, and I love gaming at 1600p, and for me, this really hit the sweet spot. As for Baldur's Gate 3, when I turned on DLSS, we had a whole different ball game here. FPS was over 100 really easily at that point. Once in a while, it did dip under 100, but it was running a lot smoother. Now, I decided to, at this point, jump in and do a little Overwatch, and Overwatch frames were a little well over 120 FPS at the very lowest, jumping well over 200 FPS. FPS. Keep in mind, the screen is only going to go as far as 165, but either way, again, this little 14-inch laptop was powerhousing one of my favorite FPS games, and that was key. The visuals were turned up to ultra on both of the games. Both of the games were also running at 1600p, so full resolution and what this little monitor can pull out on this laptop. I'm sure you can even squeak out even more frames if you decided to lower the resolution a little bit down. Now, after all that, I decided to open up the laptop itself, and I did use my trusty iFixit tools a link will be in the description for these tools that I use. I took out 10 screws and I was able to open up the lid pretty easily. Keep in mind, there's one screw on the bottom right corner that's going to always stay there to help open up this laptop. Once you open up the laptop though, you're going to see that there's one slot for an SSD. This model comes in with 500 gigs, which I have to say is pretty terrible. And that's why I decided to upgrade to this P41 SSD with two terabytes. Links will be in the description for that. It's a really, really fast NVMe SSD. Now, as far as for the RAM, remember this only comes with one stick this year. At this point, I decided I'm going to put in this 8 gig 4800 RAM stick that I got from another laptop where I replaced the sticks on those. And I thought I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this laptop here, the Zephyrus G14, to something much bigger in the future. But for now, let's go ahead and use this 8 to get that dual channel love there. I also did clone the original MVME SSD that was that 500 gigs to this 2 terabyte one I have. That was really smooth. I was able to do the upgrades overall, guys. I powered everything on in one shot and everything worked beautifully. If you guys want to see the gaming and benchmark results post upgrades, I want you guys to stay tuned for the full review of the Zephyrus G14 on this channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that thumbs up. But guys, my overall impressions, initial impressions of this unboxing, I guys, I just absolutely recommend the Zephyrus G14. The hardware, the touchpad, the keyboard, the screen, everything screams quality with this laptop. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check the links below and stay tuned for that full review. View. As I said, subscribe and thumbs up because that's coming soon.